All right, next to, one, Grant. Do you want to know your what last award? Is? What are you going to do? Ah, uh, this guy's regular. He's so. This is a course that you and I have got the privilege of being access to because they're actually a client of ours, Charlie. Keith Cunningham and the four day MBA. Yep, I dropped that bombshell. Uh, so Keith Cunningham is actually released his four day MBA, which you and I actually look to go to the States to go and do this. Um, and it's coming out as an online course and we're privileged to actually help them out and we've had access to it. And I've found it one of the greatest resources, which validates why we would fly to the States to go and do it. <laughs> that's uh, available for business owners. Have I'm I said so too much? On this. No, I'm so dirty on this. And I'll tell you why is because I got Keith on the panel of advisors episode. Right, so when we did our dream board of advisors, you gave me Keith and you said, look, you can put him on there. And then when this came up and I saw you put this one on the list for the res uh, resources, I'm like, I can't it. copy him, but I kind of want it. to. Take it. That's it. Like now I'm first in, best rest. Uh, don't you worry about it. Well, I'll let, you, I'll let you have it. And I um, I appreciate you put it on the list. It's a <laughs> strong award. So for, if you don't know, so Keith Cunningham is – He's the rich dad from – rich dad, poor dad from uh, Robert Kiyosaki. He is actually uh, author. He's helped, I think, Tony Robbins. He was like the financial advisor or CFO or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. He teaches business mastery for Tony Robbins in his program as well, yes. Love it. Uh, and so some of the massive things that I took away from that course was and when educating people, if they don't understand the foundations – it's never going to work. So the first day of this four-day of VA, Charlie, I was sitting there like, I know I know balance sheets and I know profit and loss. And he's, he's got you sitting there trying to like move. Well, if you buy an egg, how do you move it over here? And it's like very methodical. And so most people sit there and go, ah, oh, man, like, man, what's this? Like accounting 101 in grade two. However, it compounds through that if you didn't know every single thing he runs through in day one, day two, three, and four are just going to be, completely like shit shows. <laughs> and so it was this thing of beauty around me thinking of when in business I'm explaining a, a difficult concept to the team or trying to educate them on a new area that we're changing. I need to assume that no one has any knowledge of anything and start from there and build up. Like for 25% of this course, it was teaching basic mathematics and accounting because it was so importantly valuable because he's seen so many people not understand it. And that was like this huge lesson. I'm just like, man, the curse of knowledge. <laughs> I'm like, I just always dive to the end as opposed to starting from the start. I don't even do that to you all the time. I just, I'll finish at the end as opposed to start from the start. Um, he also then ran through some other really interesting points in regards to, uh, he's got a couple of pages talking about KPIs and what KPIs and ratios a business owner should be looking at in their business, which was a build up on top of his, uh, the blueprint to an ultimately successful business. And I, th I found that fascinating because I'm a numbers and ratios type of guy uh, of how he interprets it, what he looks for as a ratio of, hey, this is good, this is bad or otherwise. And again, I don't want to give away too much from it, uh, but I just found it one of these courses that just solidified me as a business owner on interpreting other businesses' financials, which funnily enough, I get sent quite regularly <laughs> saying, hey, these are my financials, can you help me out? So it was something that I just wanted to consistently improve on top of. A phenomenal course, I will say. And I'll, if anyone has enjoyed his books, you won't be disappointed. It's a great Never. follow on. Uh, my biggest takeaway on that one, even though it's your award, I'm going to jump in on it. I've decided. Totally can. I'll let you. He does an excellent job of helping people connect activities to accounting. In summary, I think that is the best part of it is helping people really understand. And you articulated that a little bit about the egg business that sits within it but the ability for a business owner to connect activities to their financials and the breakdowns and examples of that excellently articulated. I would say that as a business owner, this is a, a unfair advantage if you can do it. Most can't. Yeah. Yeah. As, as well as one thing that I loved was, uh, you know that diagram of like the finances or the, the feedback to the results, <laughs> that which then feeds back into the activities? Every time someone talks to me about that, I just get like these little, little goosebumps. I'm like, woohoo. All right. We've spoken about Keith Cunningham a thousand times. Like, <laughs> the guy's not going to go anywhere. Hey, fellow business owner. If this topic and value packed short video has resonated with you at all and you want to dive deeper into creating wealth inside, 
and outside your business, check out the full episode by clicking the link on your screen or in the description right now.